All right, so while we're waiting for the spine to set up, we're going to work on some other bits. Um, so the inside spine that the signatures are going to be sewn to, I want it to be an eighth of an inch shorter on both ends, so a total of a quarter inch shorter than the cover. Let's measure this. So this is eight and a half inches. Let's see how big this was. Because this was shorter. See, this is just a quarter of an inch. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I will grab this piece and just glue it to the end. Nobody will know. Just you and me, right? And we're not talking. Uh, so let's swear not to discuss this with anybody. You swear? I'm not going to cut it right now, but I'm just looking at what it would look like at eight and a half inches. So it's just right. I can draw a pencil line to show you. So it's just right above where it says ask for simplicity fashion magazine. There's also some other words here. It says also veils and it says brides something. I don't know. I'm going to leave that. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, so I've got a, a single piece of file folder here, and we want it to be eight and a quarter inches long. I'm just going to check and make sure that this edge is square. Mm, it's out a whisker. Just a whisker. Okay, so part of this is going to be the inside spine that I sew my signatures in, and part of this is going to be my template that I use to poke my holes. So we'll do this at the exact same time. Um, we know that um, we want eight signatures. So the first line I'm going to draw is one eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to do a quarter of an inch and draw eight lines that are a quarter inch apart. So I drew the first one at one eighth, drew the second one at three eighths, I'm drawing at five eighths, seven eighths, one and an eighth, one and three eighths, one 
one and five eighths and one and seven eighths. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will be cutting this at two inches, which is an eighth of an inch wider than our um, last line. But let's make this um, so that the lines that are on the template are exactly equal to the lines that are on the, the inside spine. So I will start by drawing a line. Uh, let's go three quarters of an inch. I, I do, you know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch. So we'll do that on both sides. Now, um, I like, there's going to be uh, four more lines between these two, because it'll be a six holes, all, it'll be six holes all together. So I'm just measuring that, and that's about six and, it's about six and five eighths, actually. Uh, maybe six and three quarters, around about that. So, um, so I'm going to have four more lines. So what I need to do is divide this six and three quarters by five. All right. So we have 6.75 by five. One, uh, two, that's close enough. All right. So I'm going to draw another line an inch and a quarter from this one. So a total of, um, that's not right. Is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I had it three quarters of an inch, inch plus an inch and a quarter. That's two. So I'm going to draw another one at two here. And then I will draw another one an inch and a quarter away from that. So that's about three and a quarter. And I'll turn this over and draw another one at three and a quarter. And that's that's good enough for me. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You're all right, Nancy. Okay, so let's cut this at an eighth of an inch past the last pencil line. So it's just, you know, the lead of your pencil kind of increases this a bit. So it's like an eyelash past two inches. Just an eyelash. And oh, I think I'll just cut this at five, five inches. I'll just use my, uh, you can do it this on a scoreboard, but this is good enough for me. So I'm just going to do a full line right down the center. You can do this by hand. You don't need to use a tool if you don't want to, but it, it's easier for me. So I will fold that there. Next up, 
<laughs> I'm going to grab some fabric. So I want to measure the fabric to be about an inch longer than the inside spine. So the inside spine was eight and a quarter. So I'm going to cut the strip that is nine and a quarter. And I like it to be, this is, I'm going to trim this off because somebody has zigzagged that. And I like it to be um, three inches wider than the inside spine. So our inside spine is two inches plus three is five. So I'm going to cut this to be five inches. Okay. All right. So now I want to glue this into the center. So I will lay my ruler down at one and a half inches and I'll grab some Fabri-Tac and just apply a thin layer on the back. Whoa. I know I moved my ruler. I'll be sure to square it up when I get to that. Okay. Now, I because I don't want the glue to sort of seep through the other side, I'm just going to use my finger to thin it out. Okay. So I got it at an inch and a half. And leaving a, about a half an inch fabric from either end. Put that down. So good? So good. Poke tool. And um, where the pencil lines cross each other, I'm going to poke holes. And you want it to go right through to the other side. If you have like a mouse pad, I know you can get um, like actual pads for poking. Actually, I saw one at the thrift store a couple weeks ago, but they wanted $3 for it. And I thought, no way, I've got a, this old book that I can poke holes into. So I just wanted to mention that these spaces don't have to be exactly the same distance apart, just sort of roughly so that um, the threads, when you see the threads on the inside, uh, they look neat. And I measure equally from the top and the bottom so that the top and the bottom are the it doesn't matter which way you put the template in um, it's going to be the same or it should be
Yeah, I'm going to make you watch me do all of them because I'm hoping that you're crafting along. And if I'm poking, you're poking. Now, if you wanted a wider or narrower spine, you're just going to adjust it according to the number of signatures that you are going to include in your book. I figured 180 to 200 pages is, is a good, good size for a wedding journal, but you know, maybe you want something narrower for a uh, back to school journal or a travel journal or maybe you've got a pattern for some holiday costumes and you want to do a Halloween journal so you wouldn't need 200 pages for a Halloween journal or maybe you would I don't know Maybe you would do a baby journal using pattern for baby clothing. Lots of options. Oh, I didn't talk to you about my pokey tool, did I? If I did, I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. So what I use for a pokey tool is actually called a bead reamer. And um, you'll find this in the jewelry making section at Michael's and it's it, it's a reasonable um I want to say it's like eight dollars but I don't I can't I can't remember so take a coupon anyway um if you download the Michael's app on your phone you will always have a coupon I made Doug uh, download it on his phone too. So if we go to Michael's, I make him go through the checkout with one item as well. <laughs> okay, so there's that bit. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but like there's holes there that you can see through the fabric and you're gonna need those in order to, um, to know where to stitch your signatures in. Okay. Uh, so the template, same deal. Um, we're going to poke six holes in where the pencil line and the fold line cross. Okay, and sometimes I have a hard time seeing that when it's like this. So I'll just circle each hole with my pen so that I can see it later. So there's that. Um, all right. So come back for the next, uh, tomorrow and we will work on the next part.